Welcome fans back to Adventures with Jay and today guys I am back at the ROC post in Swallow um, We've come for a remake and seeing what else we can see uh, We're going to try and uh, have a little look around with this one Look who's sneaking in the back there look Oh yes guys Irish Explorer is also with us tag team in the house guys Check this out We're a tag team pal, me and D. Right guys, we are a tag team. Ah, blah, making it through the thistles, thickets and thorns to bring you this amazing content. Oh, and I've just seen a pheasant just at the top of the bunker there. Oh. Yeah, it must be his home. Waiting for his lady friend, I bet, to have a little bit of the old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when I say tight, this place is tight. Crikey. Oh. Um, yep. Oh. Yeah, we go, oh. Everything's got, oh look, it's right there. Oh wow, this is pretty. Our little friend guys. <laughs> right. Now that, my friends, is heavy. I'll leave that there. Irish Explorer is trying to get up here as well. Check out the view from down there, guys. Woo! We are going in, guys. ROC post, Swallow, Royal Observer Corps. Someone left the wellies on in the full mud. Right, how are we gonna work this? Oops, scratching my gimbal to mess it. I think I've sat and broke everything in my pockets. You ready, guys? <laughs> we are going down. The easiest thing with these uh, places, guys, is to lean on the back wall. That's it. Uh, Uh, oh, you can feel the temperature difference. We are going down. Down, down, down. One handed now. One handed skills. Where's that pot? There we go, guys. Oh, this part of the uh, this part of the cantilever system. So this in here, guys, this would have been this would have been where they had the chemical toilet. Um, and all the ancillary tools. You ready for the big moment, guys? Oh yes. So that's the door. There you go, all the steam's down here. Right. There you go guys, there's the ventilation shaft. I think it's pretty much shut. Possibly it looks like telephone communications. Uh, 
Yeah, also the telecommunications. Maybe a light switch. Yeah, so let's just uh, sort of run by what we got here, guys. Um, so, so along that wall there, that would have been the big bench. Um, all the communications, uh, where everybody would have been um, doing all their work. I think they were crewed by three people at a time. What they would do is when uh, a threat of a nuclear strike would hit, they would one gang would come up the stairs, straight up the stairs, one out the stairs. Did you want to go through? Yeah. So one guy, one guy would run up the stairs, guys, fast as he could, um, all the way up there, like Billy Lightspeed, to measure the uh, paper indicator. Um, to determine the flash of the bomb, uh, of how strong the flash was. There would also be sound equipment down here as well to measure to measure the density of the bomb. Um, and all those. Um, one second, guys. Yeah, and all those uh, indicators would indicate um, size, density, distance. Um, and things like that. So this is the Royal Observer Corps. Uh, not sure the year was uh, disbanded, but um, then all these little posts around the country would report all the information to the local area uh, nuclear headquarters, um, which ours would have been Argus Skenderby. And then from Skenderby onwards, that information would be passed to the nuclear headquarters, which is RAF caution uh, down in Wilshire. Um, so back in the day guys, big places, big events, all starting from these little posts, working our way up uh, into the medium sized nuclear bunkers, 100, 150 staff, into the ginormous headquarters, RAF caution, gigantic, huge, 26 miles of underground tunnel headquarter bunkers, um, which back then was the, the main a nuclear place for uh, the country threat level. Um, there's not much left, there's three beds, normally there's only two. I'm not sure why there's three in this one, I don't know, um, but it does look nice. It's a shame there's nothing left. Normally guys, um, along the walls they're all covered, um, and like I say, you normally get the bench along that side there, just running along there guys. And that's where the workers would work. A little kitchen area um, just at the end um, where they'd make the food. But uh, I know the audio is a bit for me, guys. So, so just taking it back as well, there was no heating in these places, guys. All these guys in here would get is a big coat, a big duffel coat. That was it, and nothing else to keep warm. So, but then again, you know, it must have been cold, it must have been damp. Um, not the nicest of place to spend, spend your shift down here. There would have been, like I said before, three people. Uh, I'm not sure if it was 12 hour shifts or eight hour shifts. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and then they would swap shifts, uh, go home and then come back, uh, be manned by a different crew. Um, so there was 24 hours seven days a week um, they were running like. But I would much rather be down here in the middle of a nuclear strike than up here, guys. That, that's where I would much rather be. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can tell you guys about these fantastic places. Um, 
I don't know where that was come from because it wasn't originally here. Uh, we've been on this one before. That is the, the cantilever mechanism for the door. Um, but check out their bunk beds. Check out their bunk beds, guys. Cold War. I'm not sure what that is. Some tubes, some slots, some springs, and a lot of uh, a lot of stuff what they use with that gas and nitrous oxide, what the youngins do. So, right, guys, I'm going to leave it to um, Amish Explorer to do a to do a um, commentary. So, guys, we're just uh, taking you up. The uh, observation post, the observation uh, lookout. Uh, the stairs ain't the greatest. I'm not sure all of these post updates, you know. This seems to be the first one I've seen with this. Without these trees here, this would have been beautiful. Guys, it's February. I cannot believe it's 18 degrees in February. So this is inside, that looks like a co-walk, some sort of odd, I don't know, I don't know guys, what are we thinking? What about that? What's this? It's not a shell. I don't know what that is. No idea. One observation lookout, guys. Uh, that was Irish Explorer, having fun. Yeah, don't forget to check her out, guys. And don't forget to check out my social media, guys. Uh, adventures with J at twitter.com adventures with J at instagram.com guys I do some mega pictures so I always post the pictures for the explores uh, before we post the explores so if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing or where I've been the pictures are always up there first before we uh, post to the to the tube and um, so you know exactly what we're doing so we're not too far away from sea guys uh, possibly, I think maybe about 10 or 12 miles that direction. Um, and obviously they'll be waiting for the for the Russians um, or any sort of possible nuclear de detection uh, coming in from any part of uh, part of the uh, the east. Um, I think these posts are all the way around the country. I think there was possibly 1100 back in the day. Um, but there's so few left, most of them all have been dug up. There are a few that's been restored that are really, really good condition and locked. Uh, like the one we've just been to at Stellenborough. Um, <clears throat> but this one is completely the worst. It's absolutely gone, destroyed. Um, so that's a shame. We really wanted that one. Yeah, we are. We are in the observation tower, guys. Observation post, whatever you call it. Give you a little spin around. So you can see. That way is the sea. Oh, guess what I've just seen. <laughs> There's a weirty. There's Irish Explorer, guys, look. Sneaking in, trying to keep out of the way. It's dead small up here, so we're just trying to do a as the best we can with the little space that we've got um, so um, guys that's pretty much about it really um, so guys that's uh, that's pretty much about it um, this is the ROC post in Swallow uh, I do like this place fantastic place unfortunately it's pretty much gone um, there's only the skins left everything else is just pretty much gone, been destroyed. 
Um, but we do like coming here. Um, Irish Explorer's got her first videos in here today. Uh, so that's good. So look out for that channel, guys. Irish Explorer. Check her out. Um, as always, I'll leave the links to her channel um, at the end of this video. Um, so from me, guys, Irish Explorer, keep supporting the channel. Keep liking the gear. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Mm -hmm.